Generally 2016 has been, well, a bit terrible, but when it comes to video games it has been a banner year full of great releases. Cobbling together a list of our favourite games was easy, but putting them in any kind of order proved difficult. Eventually, however, we finalised the list and crowned IB Times UK's Game of the Year 2016. Here's our top five. Look around you. You haven't been watching the dark corners. At five is Dishonored 2 from Arcane Studios, a game of remarkable design across the board. The gorgeous, sun-drenched city of Karnaka is one of the year's most distinct and memorable worlds, serving as a setting for a tale of revenge played out however the player chooses. Supernatural abilities work in tandem with swordplay and a kitted out crossbow to offer a wealth of options when playing as either Emily or Corvo Atano, options that can be used together in unique and inventive ways. The beauty of this honor too is in how its many intricacies work in tandem flawlessly. Years ago, this broken ass system marked me as a criminal risk. Link me to some didn't even do because it was probable. At 4 is a game we had high hopes for but never expected to see trouble this list. Watch Dogs 2 is everything the original game was not. Vibrant, self-aware, funny and charming. But beyond rectifying the original's messy tone, Ubisoft Montreal also realised the potential of the series' central hacking concept. The numerous ways players, as a member of anti-establishment hacker group DeadSec, are able to influence the technology all around them in this gorgeously realised version of San Francisco help create what's effectively an open world puzzle game. That Watch Dogs 2 so confidently remedied criticisms of the first game is impressive, that doing so helped create Ubisoft's best game in years makes it more than worthy of our top five. People die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. At three is Hitman, which a year ago existed in a mire of confusing marketing surrounding the game's digital-only release. IO Interactive and publisher Square Enix eventually settled on a straightforward, episodic model, however, that benefited and suited the game perfectly. Question is. The Paris set premiere episode made clear this was the true successor to 2006's blood money that fans had been craving. Episode 2, set in Italy, was an all-time great Hitman level, and the subsequent four episodes have all been of a high quality too. After Hitman Absolution got so much wrong four years ago, it's great to see such a popular and unique series back in fine form. Our runner-up is Inside from developer Playdead, a Danish studio that first won acclaim for indie platformer Limbo in 2010. Inside is a puzzle platformer starring a vulnerable young protagonist in a dystopic nightmare world. The atmosphere of this setting is thick with oppression, that there's a manipulative power creating every shadow Inside's creeping threats and terrors call home. Playdead has refined the Limbo formula here, stripping it back to tell a more intense and unsettling tale about control. It's also a game better experienced than explained, so I'll stop here. This brings us to number one, IB Times UK's Game of the Year 2016, Overwatch. Blizzard Entertainment is incapable of half measures, so it never should have been a surprise that their first shooter and first new IP in 20 years was a success to match World of Warcraft and Hearthstone. Overwatch is a competitive online shooter starring a large cast of colourful characters, each offering something unique to the field of play. This strong array of heroes proved popular before the game had even been released, and this is partly why the game has been so enormously successful. Another reason is how well Blizzard has balanced the game despite having over 20 unique characters, and has continued to support it following its launch with free heroes and maps. Superbly crafted, Overwatch will be a permanent fixture of the gaming landscape for years to come, and that's why it's our Game of the Year for 2016. For the latest gaming news, go to ibtimes.co.uk games.